Have mercy, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Transfiguration Parish as we gather for Mass on Tuesday of the 16th week of Ordinary Time. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your name and the salvation of souls bestowed on the priest, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, a spirit of counsel and fortitude, Grant, we pray, that in the same spirit we may know what must be done, and through his intercession bring it to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old. 
as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt, show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land, and have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you be angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life? And shall not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hands toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel, Jesus breaks through our earthly relationships. Doesn't get rid of them, but shows us something deeper than flesh and blood bonds. His mother and his brothers come to where he's preaching. His mother we know, Mary. His brothers, in Greek, the same word is used for cousins. So most likely, these were close blood relatives. We know he had, Mary had one child, Jesus. And so these were probably male cousins, and probably maybe female cousins too, with Mary. And they come, and the people say, Your relatives are here, those you're related to. And Jesus uses this opportunity, like I said, to establish, we might even say more powerful bonds, to open our eyes to the fact that those who do God's will are so bonded together. We are brothers and sisters. We're not like brothers and sisters. He doesn't say, those who do the will of the Father are like my brothers, my sister, my mother. No, he says, those who do the will of the Heavenly Father is my brother, is my sister, is my mother. We are united as a family, a true family. 
in our discipleship of Christ, in our bond of faith. And that should give us, that should give us confidence that we're not alone, and it should allow to rise in, in us a responsibility as we care for our flesh and blood relatives, so we care for our faith family. We come together in faith and love to place before God our prayers and petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord look graciously upon him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected officials, may God's compassion and justice guide them in serving those they represent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who find themselves unemployed or underemployed, may the Lord help them find work to support their families. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the Lord keep us steadfast in faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, and today's Mass is offered for Sean Kenny. May they soon rest in the loving arms of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, hear and answer the prayers we offer through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. We humbly implore your majesty, Almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of blessed Lawrence of Brindisi bear witness to the glory of divine power, so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Lawrence of Brindisi, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. 
for on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Lawrence of Brindisi, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Edgar our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys that as a faithful steward, blessed Lawrence of Brindisi came to deserve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. One announcement is that stay tuned for the rosary. I'm not sure if I'm available there is a question mark of a, an event, a virtual event at Fian tomorrow, which may interfere with the rosary. I don't think it does. I think the Fian event is later in the evening. It's an event with the freshman parents, a little video info session that I would like to be part of. Um, but I will know for sure tomorrow exactly the time. So tomorrow I will announce whether we're doing the rosary at 6 or not, and I hope everyone is enjoying these high days of summer and staying cool if possible. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.